stairs, under the stairs, under the stairs. Today's the day, right? Thank you. Yeah, today's the day I completely humiliate myself in front of every colleague I have. Oh, so you didn't forget. Listen, they are going to love it. Don't worry. Everything about those two sentences that you just said tells me I horribly failed at depicting both an accurate portrait of my job and the vampires who make it a living hell. Stop it. You are a marketing genius, do you hear me? And today is the day that these vampires are gonna realize it. Now you're placating. Ready. Whoa, and with seven minutes to spare. Hoorah! Hey, so, this is what I'm thinking. Maybe we head outside and throw the football around <laughs> while we wait for these slow pokes to catch up? Duh! Duh, of course. Come on, let's go, buddy. Love you guys. Love you. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Hmm. Morning. <gasps> Jesus, Owen! Sorry. Oh my goodness. I didn't mean to scare you. Did you sleep here last night? Tish and I got into another fight. And I hope you don't mind. Well, I guess someone ought to use these beds. You scared me. Sorry. You scared me. Oh my goodness. <sighs> you can't avoid me forever. If you don't fix this, I will make sure you never work in this town again. And you know how few calls that will take. I never had these problems when your dad was in charge of my account. You are a complete coward. Tony, you know I love you and those big meaty fingers, but when I say gently, please interpret that as if anything arrives in less than mint condition, I will hunt you down and destroy everything good in your life. Capiche? Thanks. Ah, I see you uh, packed your sass today. Always. <laughs> Oh my goodness, so how did it go with the uh, with Jean's guy? Oh gosh, I had to cut the cord. <laughs> what? Why? Uh, he wanted us to go jogging together on a Sunday at 7 a.m. Desi, you know you could have just said no, right? The mere suggestion tells me that he's operating on a fatal dose of delusion and Mama don't want a cautionary tale. <laughs> but you know, enough about me. How are you? How's the assistant search going? I feel like I am throwing myself down a never-ending staircase. Yeah. The last girl I asked why she was interested in staging, mm -hmm. and she started talking about musical <laughs> that she did in high school. Hey, I dated a musical theater nerd once by mistake, and he told me I needed to reel it in while we were hooking up in his creepy uncle's Ford Focus because I was upstaging him. <laughs> oh, uh, 
side note, I might have went a little overkill on forklift Phil, so if he comes claiming emotional damage, you know, it might be a tad valid. You have to be nicer to people. I'll try. But you and I both know the reason why you hired me as lead decorator is I shall. How about you intimidate Kyle Morgan because he has called me at least 10 times. Sorry, boo. He only wants to talk to you. I don't know how my dad did this. It's been seven months. You'll find your legs. You're an amazing decorator. Being a boss, an owner, is a completely different beast. Hey, I'm home. Where are the kids? What's, what's wrong? There was a court hearing today. Gavin's biological mom wants him back. Terrence, the adoption is almost final. He's been with us. They want us to drop him off at the school and... And what? And what? And that's it. She'll pick him up after. Then we fight. The state wants him with his mom. I am his mother. I know. They cannot take him away from me. That is our child. No, stop. It's not okay. Gavin, Mila, can you come here, please? Hey. Oh. Before we get started, your mother and I want to have a quick chat with you. We love you guys so much. returned to his birth mother and were devastated. Shower time. In a minute. Mila, shower. Now. Sure, Dad. She seems to be doing a lot better. Yeah. Children are resilient. Hey. It's only been three weeks. You gotta give yourself a break. Maybe I just see him. I see him everywhere. 
It's like this house felt like a home when it was the four of us, hey, and now hey, it just... Hey, 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 I don't feel like a home again. Maybe... Maybe, maybe we should try again. Seriously? Yeah. You know what Dr. Horgan said. But listen, that was two years ago. Maybe my body just need a rest. Don't you want another one? Of course, I didn't defeat over and over again. And I had to feel it. That's not fair. You're right. I'm sorry. I just... I can't watch you go through that again. I won't. I just know that there's a void in our family that I have to try to fill. Hey, we'll get through this, okay? I don't want to get through it. I want to solve it. Someone scream. See? Stay here. Who is it? Jesus. Oh, please, you have to let me in. I'm running away from my boyfriend. He just threatened to kill me, and I didn't know what to do. If he finds me, I swear he'll kill me, please. Uh. Oh my god, that's him, please. What is going on? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Come on out. Come out, come out, wherever you are. You don't see her? Where did she go? I don't see her. Right here, okay? I'm gonna call the police. No, 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 you call them and he'll find me, he'll find me. Okay, 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 come in, come in, come in, come in. Okay, you just are in shock. Just calm down, you're safe now, you have a safe wait, place wait, wait, to be. Wait, 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 what? Hang on. Are you insane? She could be lying. Look at her face. She is terrified. Then I'll take her to a shelter, to a hospital, to a... No, 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 you have got to stay here with Mila. What if whoever that is comes back? It's crazy. We have no idea who she is. Baby, she is pregnant. And she needs our help. Please. Baby. You take the pepper spray. I got it. And make sure that your location tracker is on. It's already on. Go. Okay, come, come on, on, come on, come on. Come with me. Come with me. Are you okay? Come on. Come on. Go. So you don't have any friends, any family, anyone that I could call? I'm not for a couple thousand miles. Okay, okay. There's a um, there's a hotel not too far from here. I'll take you there. Tim, that's him. That's him. Duck down. Duck down. Duck down. Okay, he's gone. You can get up. I promise everything will be all right. It'll be okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we are here. I will pay for the room. Don't worry about it. Why are you being so nice to me? I'm a mom. You're a mom. And you have enough on your plate right now. Um, can I ask you a question? Of course. You, you said that he threatened to kill you. Why? 
I'm sure the two bottles of whiskey in his system didn't help. <sighs> Alcoholics don't just dull their pain. They dull the lives of everyone around them. Which is why I created a profile on an independent adoption site. And why he went... He went absolutely mental, which doesn't even make sense because it's not like he's the father, but... Have you told the father that you're putting the baby up for adoption? No. He, uh... He died. Oh. In a car accident a few months ago. I... I am so sorry. He was the best person I knew. We started dating. We wanted to go to Florida and get season passes to Disney. That's, um, that's where I'm headed. After all of this, I have cousins that live by the water. It's nothing fancy, but I think it'll be a good place to start over. After I say goodbye. <laughs> he deserves a home that's ready for him. Ready in ways that I'm just not. <laughs> Listen, that is the most loving thing that you can ever do. It's what Gavin would have wanted. Gavin? That was his father's name. So. Oh. oh my goodness. <laughs> he is absolutely beautiful. Oh, he's perfect. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> yeah, he is. It's gonna be okay. Can you give me one moment, please? Yeah. Do you believe in signs? What kind of signs? You know, like little winks from the universe that let us know that some things are intentional. Sometimes. Why? I believe we were supposed to meet. Let's go home. Are you out of your mind? What? Beth, you can't just invite a stranger to sleep at our house just because you had one bonding moment. She could be dangerous. I don't recall pitching a fit when you brought Tucker home because you guys had one bonding moment. I brought home a stray dog. You brought home a stray person. What's the difference? Oh, I don't know. Opposable thumbs, the ability to grasp things like knives. Seriously? Have you really not thought about the millions of ways this could take a straight turn towards Dateline? Of course I have. That's why you are spending the night in Mila's room tonight. It's one night. We'll survive. Or be brutally murdered. Well, that is the other possibility. I'm so glad we're taking this seriously. I love you too. This is cute though. I love her. I love her. Oh my god. I I'm sorry, I should have knocked. Thanks. Thanks. Here. Um, are you sure this is okay? I feel awful taking your son's room. I could sleep on the couch if you want. It's really no problem. We don't have a son. It's, um, it's a long story, but it's fine. We are right down the hall if you need anything. Okay. Okay. Good night. Good night. Um, thank you uh, for everything. You're welcome.
thinking of dying in turquoise. And who said that that was okay? Stella's mom says it's a sign of courage and creativity. And does Stella's mom also decide how much screen time you get a day? Just because you're content being a gray sprinkle on a rainbow cupcake doesn't mean I have to be. All right, well, this gray sprinkle has a lot more to talk about in the car, so let's go. Excuse me, ma'am. Where's my kiss? Come on, come on. Mm -hmm. We are going to talk about this later. I love you. Love you. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a fun car ride. Glad it's you and not me. <laughs> love you. Love you, my gray sprinkle. Mm, thank you for that. <laughs> oh, I packed you a pasta salad, bottom shelf. Babe, you're the best. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Hell hath no fury like a slightly inconvenienced Gen Zer. <laughs> She's adorable. Mm, thank you. You both seem like really good parents. Yeah, it's mostly Terrence. You know, he is the oldest of four brothers, and he's had some practice. You know what? Come on. We're gonna go shopping. Let's go. For what? You know, just the necessities. You didn't uh, happen to grab a suitcase when you were running down the street from your ex, did you? No. I didn't think so. So come on, my treat. You know you don't have to be this nice to me, right? Oh, well, my toxic trait is being this nice to everyone. <laughs> so what you're saying is don't feel special? Oh, pretty much. All right, I got everything. <laughs> Morning. Oh. Sorry. Didn't mean to scare you. How can I help you? Well, I'm actually looking for a missing person. She was, uh, last seen walking down the street. Oh, um... Didn't I see you last night? Um... We, uh, we passed each other on the street. Did we? Yeah, did. Well, um, I'm sorry. I, I, I haven't seen her. Have you contacted the police? Not yet. Well, maybe that should be your next step. Thanks for the tip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got your keys. Oh, right. Um, thank you. This is bad. No, 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 it, it, it's fine. All right, come on, let's go this way. Sounds great. Uh, <laughs> this is way too much. This is barely a fresh start. <laughs> okay, we'll check your iron, and then we'll see if we need anything else. Oh, wait, I think I know that woman. Yeah, I've seen her on some of the mommy vlogs. She's supposed to be this, like, super midwife baby guru that everyone swears by. She probably charges an arm and a leg. Is everything okay? 
Yeah, it's fine. I just, um, I just need to stop by the office real quick. Okay? okay. Yeah, come on. I told you that you weren't going to be able to avoid me forever. Now, what exactly are you trying to do? Your dad and I had agreements in place when he started this business, and if it wasn't for me, you probably wouldn't even have a business as it is. Please, please just, give me, just give me a moment. Just give me, just give me a moment, please. Is everything okay? I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I just hope you're having a panic attack. Or two. It's okay, it's okay, just breathe. Just breathe. I used to have them all the time. Really? You didn't think you were the only person burdened with the crushing psychological weight of being alive, did you? Oh my goodness. So who's the jerk with the receding hairline? Oh, he is a very unhappy client that I wish that I could just tell to go to hell. So why don't you? <laughs> you know, I know we just met, and it's really sweet that you think I'm the type of person that can do that, but I'm really more of the rollover and give you anything you want type. What's his name? Kyle Morgan. Does he have any kids? Follow me. What are you gonna, what are you doing? Mr. Morgan. Hi, quick question. Do you enjoy threatening and gaslighting everyone with textbook verbal abuse, or is that a technique you save specifically for women? What the hell are you talking about? Oh, I'm sorry, should I speak slower, or do you want to call one of your daughters and have them explain it to you? Who the hell is this? Uh, Patricia Allen, Mrs. Hornby's attorney. Your lawyer? Oh, I'm just here as a witness. Witness? For what? Would you like to take it from here? From this point forward, all contracts with Halo Interiors and Morgan Estates are officially terminated. Your business is no longer welcomed here. Neither is your nauseating drugstore cologne. <laughs> your father would be ashamed. The only thing he would be ashamed of is me letting you walk over me for this long. Yes, girl! I can't believe I just did that. I have been dreaming of doing that for the past seven months. Well, congrats. You are officially no longer a pushover. Hey, Georgia. This may sound really crazy, but do you want a job here? As what? You're a lawyer? I think it might be a few degrees short. No, 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 no. As, as my assistant. It would just be temporary until I find somebody else. I mean, you'd collect a couple paychecks in the process. Wow, um... Okay, listen, don't... You don't have to feel obligated to just say... Yes! Really? Yeah, 100%. Okay, well, great. Do you want to step into my office and we can discuss the details? Okay, but... You offered her a job? You should have seen her. She was amazing. Okay. But wasn't he one of your biggest clients? Uh, yes, and biggest headaches. Hey, are you at home? Uh, no. No, 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 I just got back into the office. Anyway, I should probably get back to it. Big day. Oh, okay, well, love you. Love you too. Okay, there we go. And this, this is where we temporarily store personal items that no longer fit in the home's new design aesthetic. I know, I know, but I promise you this is organized chaos. It's boxes full of snow globe collections and mugs from around the world. Anything that would kind of scare off potential buyers. Ah, like this little gem right here. World's greatest mom. Yeah, you'd have to be to allow that thing in your house. <laughs> oh, hi, Tony, Bradley, please be careful with- hey. Oh, and who's this glowing goddess? Desi, this is Georgia. Georgia, this is Desi, one of our lead stagers. Um, she's uh, pretty good with the clients. I.e., I scare them. <laughs> 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 
pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> George is my new assistant. And just when I was beginning to think I would never hear those three words. <laughs> and George is staying with us for a little bit. Oh, well, that's intriguing. But also mini crisis, we have another hostage situation. W what's going on? The upholsterer for the Hodge project apparently is having some financial problems and they're behind paying their team, so the staff had a mutiny, and now they're holding our items hostage. So when is the install? Tomorrow, at 10 a.m., as in less than 24 hours, hence the slight panic in my tone. And we do have other projects with him, correct? Regrettably. Great. Okay, we'll just pay the scumbag, give him an advance so that he can pay his workers. However, make sure they have the furniture there before 9.30 a.m. Crisis averted. Oh, please make sure to tip them well so that when they leave and start their own business, we will get a first new customer discount. Money's in the safe, you know the code. Did you have anything to do with this newfound confidence? Maybe a little bit. <laughs> well, it's sexy as hell. Thank you. But I gotta go. Stay rich and fabulous. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> it was nice to meet you. Good night. <laughs> she seems fun. She is. Just don't sleep with her. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> Come this way. Hey. Hey. So, uh, when did you find time to fold the laundry? Oh, yeah. I got home, like, half an hour early. Superman. So why don't you, uh, bring some of that productivity upstairs? Yeah? Yeah. I'll be right out. Do you mind if I'm a little late today? I'm meeting a couple for brunch about a potential adoption. Oh yeah? Yeah, they reached out last night. I don't know, uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, I was just gonna get an Uber to pick me up here, if that's cool. Of course. I mean, or I could drive you. I I'll wait in the car, get a little work done. I could use a change of venue. Okay, yeah, thanks. <laughs> I'll uh, grab my stuff. Okay. How'd it go? So good. Yeah, better than good grapes. They were so sweet and cute, and they've been trying to get pregnant forever. And their last two adoptions fell through at the last minute, so they are desperate and exhausted and very, very generous. Yeah, how so? They offered to buy me a car. But can they do that? I guess. I don't know. Hmm. And they offered to pay for that fancy midwife we saw. So what happens now? I don't know. I told them I'd let them know tomorrow, but now that I'm hearing all this out loud, that sounds insane, right? I think I should just say yes. I mean, what if they change their mind? This could be the best offer I get. Well, maybe you should just sleep on it. Well, I don't know. I feel like I should just say yes. Listen to my gut and go for it, right? I'm just gonna call them and say yes. Georgia, Georgia, Georgia. Yeah? What if? You had another offer on the table. It's not like we haven't thought about adopting a thousand times. Yeah, through an agency with a reputation and, and fancy plaques. Plenty of people don't use an agency to adopt. It's more common than you think. Okay, and we will still use an adoption attorney. Georgia already has one picked out that she likes. Yeah, I bet she has. If you don't want me to get poked and prodded anymore. This is our chance. No injections, no trauma, no drawn out adoption process. Okay, how much does she want? $30,000. And I think we should buy her a car. <laughs> You're joking. She already has an offer from another family. And let me guess, she wants the money up front. Half, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Here I 
baby, there is a little bit of father. Someone to wrestle with and play football. Georgia can, can work with me until she has the baby. And then she's off to Florida. And then we have our family back. One girl and one boy. Yeah. One very pricey receipt. What if God sent her here for a reason? Uh, I hope you're right. Is that a yes? Whatever you want. Thank you. You're welcome. Don't forget this. Having a baby. <laughs> I believe that midwifery is more than simply a career. It's a calling. And it's my mission to not only guide my pregnant patients through every stage of life, but also assist them. I offer a wide range of services from wellness coaching to prenatal care, postpartum support, family planning, as well as a slew of other elevated treatments that you can pick and choose from. Sounds expensive. <laughs> well, Who's ready to hear this heartbeat? I. <laughs> there he is. That's a good, strong heartbeat. <laughs> so I want you to keep an eye on that elevated blood pressure, okay? Mm -hmm. Try to stay as stress-free and calm as possible. It's important for you and for baby. Yes. I'll try. Okay. Um, also, I'd like to schedule our uh, prenatal exercise. How does tomorrow at 3.30 sound? Works for me. 3.30 works great. Okay, great. I'll see you then. Thank you so much. Oh, you're so welcome. Bye. Bye. <laughs> she was great. She's lovely. Can I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Mm -hmm. ah, you ready to go? Ready to go. I thought that we would start with 10 to 15 minutes a day three days a week with one day off between walks. That way we can slowly increase the intensity and the duration. Is that a safe for the baby? Oh, very. I like to think of pregnancy as the one time when you can uh, focus on not just setting records with exercise, you know? Okay. It's also about optimizing health for mama and baby. Could oh, <laughs> absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> Here we go. Gotta save the energy for the actual workout. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Is everything okay? I think I heard something. Here, I'll go see what's going on. You guys stay here. Sure. Where is she? What are you doing in my house? I know she's here. If you don't leave right now, I'm calling the police. Huck? What's going on? Call 911, quick. Get back here! What do you think you're doing, huh? Get away from me!
Hey. Hey. How are you feeling? How's the baby? Oh, okay. Better knowing there's an officer out front. Yeah. Yeah. Carmen says everything's fine after the fall, so. Can I talk to you about something? Uh, of course. What about? You and your ex. I just, I just don't understand how a woman in life would allow a man to treat her like that. It just doesn't add up. Well, I wasn't gonna say it exactly like that, but... You're right, though. It, it doesn't. Why do you think I ran? When I'm not with him, I finally start to feel like myself again. Or at least the version of me that I hope is still in there somewhere. She is. There's something I wanted to talk to you about, too. Please don't take this the wrong way, because I am so grateful for everything you've done for me, but I'm not sure that I feel safe now that Puck knows I'm here. My heart's been racing nonstop, and I'm afraid with my high BP that Sting just might not be healthy for the baby, and I can't help but feel like it might be better for everyone if I just disappeared again. No. Are you kidding? You are a godsend. We are so incredibly thankful. Please, let me figure this out. Let me find a solution, okay? I promise that I won't let anything happen to you or the baby. Really? Absolutely. Don't worry about anything. Thank you. <laughs> you, um... Get some rest. Okay. Good night. Good night. Wow. It's a lot bigger than the others. Well, two beds, two bad own little oasis in the back. Total transparency, it's a tad over your budget. Well, there was plenty of space in the studio apartment, don't you think? Yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah, the view on the third floor are definitely boss. Are, are you okay? Here, come, sit down. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I just, whew, I think my blood pressure might be a bit high. You don't, um, you don't think it's because of all the stairs at the last unit, do you? There are quite a few. It's, it's fine. I'll be fine. Oh, boy. Um, <clears throat> okay. So, if a client asks for rustic Southwestern. Ooh. Okay. I think I'd go with Spanish textiles. Okay. Ironwork. Yes. Terracotta with natural materials. And... Industrial touches? You're a natural. <laughs> Can't remember the last time I was this good at something. Uh, now all you need is your own computer and your own car. What? Stop, you didn't. Listen, it's nothing fancy, but it'll do. No, I can't accept this. Yes, you can. <laughs> you were too good to me. No, honestly, you could have chosen any family, and probably a family that could have done more than we can, so. We're grateful for you. Thank you so much. Now, let's get this apartment unpacked. Oh, I know. <laughs> tipped him well. Of course. <laughs> you know, you should really write a book documenting your... Slut shenanigans? I was gonna say <laughs> lovers. Ew, why? To avoid sounding crude. Honey, if I avoided sounding crude, I'd be silencing one of my biggest personality traits. Well, that's true. That's true. Speaking of dominating personalities... Uh-oh. I thought we were done letting people walk all over us like cheap linoleum. What are you talking about? Rhymes with porja. 
Yeah, and that's what you're gonna be if you keep showering your new BFF with gifts. They're not gifts, they're necessities. And it's completely normal. Look, I like her and everything, but I like you more. And I know that gorgeous little heart of yours has no bounds. I just wanna make sure you're being safe about things. Well, I do appreciate your concern. Just promise me you're not gonna ignore any red flags. I promise we're good. Just, just trust me. Okay. Now, let's get back to talking about me. <laughs> oh, we have to get this. Absolutely. <laughs> You're back. How's baby? Good, thanks. Wait a minute, I thought you were having a girl. I'm, I'm sorry, you must have me confused with someone else. Oh no, uh, we met a few months ago. You were in with that really nice couple. No, nope. never been here before. I could have sworn. Uh, do you have this in Sage? We're trying to stick with the theme. Uh, yeah, I can check in the back. Thanks. That was weird. What'd you find? This cute look. I don't know what it is though. Oh, oh God! I think oh, I broke it. No! Oh my gosh! Anybody having a meeting with the Johnsons Thanks. definitely needs some caffeine. Hey girl, I knew I didn't like you. I just can't quite put my finger on it. Until now. Yeah, I saw the security footage and I know you stole from the Diaz's collection. What? I didn't steal anything. Oh, you mean the, the jeweled thing? Yeah, I took that to get polished. I thought it was scuffed, but it was fine. I, I thought it would be a nice gesture. I can show you the receipt. Oh, fabulous. I'll wait. Yeah, okay, one second. Look, the next time you decide to take something from inventory, kind gesture or not, you run it by me. Capiche? Of course. I'm, I'm sorry for the confusion. Good. The hell was that about? We might have a problem.
Who are you? Just checked on Mila. She's sound asleep. We need to talk. Okay. What? What's up? Hold on. It's Owen. Hello? What? I'm on my way. Okay, I'm coming. As soon as I heard, how is she doing? She's stable. But it's a good thing Owen found her when he did. What happened? A stack of boxes fell over on her. How? Your guess is as good as mine. The doctor said it may be a couple days. Is there anything I can get for you? No, I'm good. I'm okay. Hey. She's gonna be fine. I know. I know. It's just, um... I think Terrence is having an affair. What? Why? Well, I saw him having coffee today with another woman. <sighs> okay, well, coffee isn't the most incriminating thing. I mean, maybe there's a good excuse. He lied about it. I'm so sorry. I, I, I never would have taken him for the cheater type. Well, unfortunately, it's not the first time. When we found out that I didn't have any um, viable eggs, we, we had a really dark patch. He swore it was a one-time thing, and I believed him. That must have been really tough. It was. How old was Mila? It was before Mila was born. But I thought you said that it was... Mila who was born via a donor egg. I had no idea. Most people don't. With Mila being at the top of that list. What it feels like to wake up every day and feel broken because you are unable to do what every other woman can. It doesn't make her any less yours. Or him. Well, I, uh, guess the baby saved our marriage once. It can happen again, right? How's Desi? Still out of it? Oh, jeez. Hey, I was thinking that maybe we'll swing by the hospital tomorrow and we can drop off some supper or maybe a couple of... How long? How long? was in a bad head space. A colleague of mine just pressed the wrong button and next thing I know he's on the floor and I'm out of a job. 
You got fired? Isn't that what we're talking about? I'm talking about the affair. What affair? I saw you. You saw me what? With her at Blackbird. No, 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 hon. That, that was a job interview. Beth, sweetheart, look at me. I am not having an affair. You promise? On my life, okay? I would never do that to you again. Are you kidding me? That was the biggest mistake of my life. I mean, look, if you're, you're in a hobby. When the baby comes, I know it no, moved no, just no, like last time. Time out. My love, having a baby did not save our marriage, okay? That was you and I. We did that as a team. Having Mila, that was just the icing on the cake that you and I built together. Then why didn't you tell me? After the whole Gavin fiasco, I, I didn't want to add to the stress. <sighs> Any prospects? A couple, <laughs> but nothing really exciting. Why don't you come work for the company? Seriously? Yeah. I mean, you could handle all the business stuff. That would give me the time to do the job I'm actually good at. Wouldn't we get tired of each other? Oh, absolutely. But, as you said, we're a team. So what, you're like, my boss now? Um, absolutely. Is there a problem with that? Oh, no, no. <laughs> I actually think it's kind of hot. Uh -huh. But, um, you were still in trouble, sir. You- I love you. Hmm. Love you, too. be totally history revisioning the hell out of this, but I want to say they talked about meeting her at some kind of online mom's group. Did they say the name? I don't really. I, it was something weird. It didn't really make sense. Was it mommy mine? That's it. Are you okay? Yes, thank you. I just, I just have to go. I was afraid if you knew I had a previous miscarriage, you'd panic, and I just... I didn't want to scare you. I'm so sorry. I know I should have been up front with you, but... I can't believe they're dead. You don't think Puck had anything to do with this, do you? Well, the police say they don't suspect foul play. I hope they're not wrong. How's your blood pressure? Ask me again in an hour. Hey, got food. <sighs> Finally, I'm famished. Hey, hey. What the hell is this? It's cool. We're in the clear. What do you mean? 
You didn't Hot, do this. You don't need to worry about this. Did you do this? No, I didn't kill them. You're lying. I'm not lying. Then who the hell did it then, huh? I did. They knew too much. It had to be done. Why would you do that? That wasn't even part of the plan. Relax. They didn't feel a thing. You're a sociopath. Well, welcome to the club, Snowflake. Oh, Danny's mad. Hey. Hey. How does $600,000 sound? What are you talking about? Now he's listening. In 48 hours, Halo is going to unload a truck with enough expensive art to fill an oceanfront penthouse. And when the sun goes down, we're going to load it all right back into the same truck. Along with everything else inside. And then we're out of here. With a big ass payday in the back seat. $600,000, huh? Sounds nice, doesn't it? There he is. Nobody else dies, do you understand me? Deal. Say it. Nobody else dies. Hmm? Nobody else dies. Hello? Is anyone home? Georgia? Hello? Hey, girl. I know, I know, this is a shocking turn of events for you. And I hope you know it brings me zero pleasure. I actually like you a lot. More than any of the others, which is weird, because I normally don't like anyone. It's true, she's really not a people person. You remember Carmen, right? Surprise, not a midwife. Although I do think I'm starting to get a bit of a knack for it. So here's the thing, B. We are in a bit of a pickle. Really going off script with this one. And it is going to require a little bit of acting from you. 
So I hope you're up for the challenge. This time tomorrow, we'll be halfway across the state with, well, everything inside this place. Plus, the McQueen's art collection, which won't be here until the morning, as you know. That's our little dilemma. So until then, you'll be here. First thing on the to-do list, I'm gonna need you to call Terrence and let him know that you'll be sleeping at the hospital tonight with Desi. Mm, poor Desi. Think you can handle that? <laughs> Ugh, right. Silly me. Let's try that again, shall we? He won't believe me. For your sake, I hope he does. Or the next phone call will be to Mila and... Though I guess the mommy part isn't completely accurate now, is it? Phone. Thank you. Hey, babe. Hey, what are you guys up to? Uh, just helping Mila with her homework. Um, I'm going to spend the night at the hospital with Desi. They think she may wake up, and I don't want her to be alone. Oh, do uh, you want us to bring you a bag or something? No, 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 I, um... I grabbed some things this morning before I left. Okay. Well, just keep me posted. Love you. Love you. Love you, too. Okay, well, we've got some errands to run, but Puck's gonna hang out and make sure everything stays copacetic. Best behavior, okay? Thank you. Please don't. Just, just for a few minutes. I promise I won't scream. Am I gonna die? No. No, no one else is dying. You're not so sure, are you? They gave me the word. Honesty isn't really their strong suit, though, is it? Look, we, we have a system in place, okay? Method. Dime's not a part of it. Just like last time? Yeah, well, last time didn't go according to plan. Is this going according to plan? You're not a killer. I can tell. What part of no one is gonna die, don't you understand, huh? I want to believe you. I do. I have a little girl. I have a oh, husband. Don't do that. I have a. Stop doing that, okay? Please. Don't do what? Trying to make yourself more of a person? Trying to connect to me like I'm some type of kidnapper? This isn't what's going on here, okay? I'm not a killer. God damn it! Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know, none of this would be happening if you were so nice. She knew if she laid that victim crap on you, you'd take her in. Now what are you going to do? You go, you go and give her a job? And give her all these crazy ass ideas? I mean, no wonder this is happening. You know, none of the others were like this. We would just, we would just target a woman, pocket a few thousand, take some nice sh bounce. Nobody gets hurt. Just emotionally devastated, right? Now listen. You're so clean, right? Your hands might not be clean, but at least they don't have blood on them. Not yet, at least. And you and I both know they're going to keep pushing and pushing. And it is only a matter of time before your hands are so dirty that they can't possibly become clean.
Not another step. Hey! Let her go. Or I'll call the cops myself. Why'd you have to go say a silly thing like that? <gasps> no! 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 No, no, no! <gasps> Sorry, Georgia. Get her! Now! Security guard. Fine, take care of it, I got her. No! She's mine. Okay. Switch me then. Why? Because Johnny Renikoff's probably got a gun and yours is just a mob. And try not to get any blood on the furniture. I want top dollar for everything in here. I mean it. I thought it was great. But mm -hmm. oh, your mom's gonna be excited. Honey? Where's mom? I don't know. I wasn't lying when I said I actually like you, Bethany. Turns out we're not so different, you and I. I was barely 18. They told me that I'd never be able to get pregnant. First time I pretended it was at one of those maternity shops with the fake bumps in the dressing rooms, you know? I just wanted to numb the shame. Forget for a few minutes that I... How many moms are unhappy with their one or two kids? Always wanting more! You think I'm greedy? Look in the mirror! Not all of us can afford to buy a family when things don't work out, Bethany! You have a perfectly healthy little girl. And it's still not enough for you. And the justifications, the justifications are truly works of delusion. It's for my husband. He deserves a son. She deserves a brother to play with. He deserves a sister. Well, you know what I deserve? A goddamn break! <sighs> and that is where our little rewrite comes in. Maybe I'll use the money from selling everything to start my own staging business. You can keep the boring husband and the cute kid. This mommy wants the career. Beautiful furniture. Your mom has very good taste. I know you think that I'm probably a bad person, and that's fair, but I promise you, I'm not. I'm a good person. As long as you do what I say, okay? You do that, and we'll get along fine, okay? 
Well, nobody told me it was take your kid to work day. Mila! Mommy! Oh, nice try. What are you doing? Up in the stakes. Duh. This is gonna go. You're gonna give me the cash in the safe, and we're gonna call it a day. You'll never see or hear from me again. Ugh. Baby, come. Mira! Baby! Yes, we're in here! Dad? Oh, thank you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Are you okay? Come on, come on, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. I'm just saying, Mrs. Dr. Brad Redford sounds extra right. You are the only person I know that can have a near-death experience and turn it into a meet cute. Take notes, young one. Um, absolutely not. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, Mrs. Fielding's cat, she just finished having another litter in case you're interested, so. I read an article once that cats are a gateway to BDSM. No, 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 no. Please ignore her. Okay, I'm, I'm kidding. Not about the cat thing, though. Seriously, you should look it up. So, is that a yes? No, I'm good. I have all the family I need right here. Did you really just say that out loud? <laughs> okay, it sounded a lot less corny in my head, but your mama pissed. <laughs> is that Gavin's biological mom? Yeah, sweetie, it is. Um, give me one second. I'll be right back. Okay. Hi. Hi. I hope this is okay, us talking. Oh, of course. At least I don't really know the rules for this kind of thing. Me either. <sighs> oh, hey. Can you just please play with Gavin? Uh, please? Oh, yes, of course. I think he would love that. That's me. It's so nice to meet you. So nice to meet you too. Hi, Cynthia. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Baby, I missed you so much. Look at you. Hey, buddy. Good. Yeah. Come on. What? Whoa, whoa. Hey. Oh. Okay. <sighs> God, just.
Marked a location. Let's fight together. I need a weapon. I got supplies. Awesome. 